Right. When I give the order, we go. Tomas, your duty is to... Board the train at the station, hold up the driver, keep him held up until O'Reilly gives me the signal to leave. O'Reilly? Board the train, grab the mailbags with you. Once we've seized them and taken them off the train, I give the signal to Tomas to leave. And then? We meet the coming Amman contact who will take the bag for safekeeping. Good. Right, get ready, boys. Here we go. Fractured. A family, a nation, a dream. May 1921. they polish their own boots? That's what I want to know. Are they crippled? Are they paralysed? Are they... Just a minute! Tomas, hello. Where is everyone? That's a fine greeting, so it is. Sorry. Sorry now, Miss O'Neill. I was told to report here. I only have an hour or so. The others won't be long. Would you like a glass of milk, Tomas? No, thank you. It's one thing you're never short of in the pub is a drink. <laughs> Aye. Well, sit down, won't you? Grand, thanks. It is a grand, comfortable seat anyway. God, but you're a fierce liar, Tomas Barry. You'd want an arse of lead to be comfortable on that. I had the procedure done there, not 12 months ago. <laughs> God, but you're funny. Like your brother. Aye, he's a clown, all right. I heard he's in Ballykinlar. That's a horrible place. It is, and the food isn't up to much, which is causing Sean the most hardship. But he's in good spirits? He says he is, which is all we can go on. If you write to him, tell him I said hello. Are your brothers not about? In all likelihood, they're in your father's pub. We won't see them for hours. I'll get the mail back. It was dropped off last night. They can put away their drink, all right. And you admire that, do you? I'm just saying. Well, don't just say... Since the cholera took Mammy and Daddy, I've been left to clean and wash and tidy after them while they go about spending all our money in your pub. There's the bag. I can't be held responsible for how they spend their money. Just think on it next time you serve one of them a pint. But sure, that's what men do. And isn't it fine for them? Getting out all day and drinking all night and the women are left with the... the house. And a fine job you're doing. More lies. Have you had another operation that has made you blind? No, I have not. This is a horrible house and you know it. Sure, there's been nothing nice in it since Daddy brought home the tablecloth in 1916 when he went looting up in Dublin. Isn't it a roof you have over your head? It's a stone around my ankle is what it is. I thought, well, I thought girls liked being in charge of a house. Tell me, Tomas Barry, would you like to be cleaning up after your mother and Mary and them swanning off to the pub? Would you like to be making their beds and washing their underclothes with your hands? I I wouldn't, but... But what? I'm no different to you. You're a woman. It doesn't automatically make me want to wash my brother's underclothes. Are you stupid in the head? I am not. And I'm sorry if whatever I said offended you. I am. No, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Sure, didn't you recommend me and the other women for the ambushes and that? Oh, you're a lovely boy, Tomas, and... Am I? You are. It's my brothers. They just... And, Tomas, did you ever want to just escape? Just leave everything behind? Go on the run, like? No, just walk away and leave your life and start a new one. Not really, no. You're lucky, because I would. I'd go on heartbeat. Go where? Anywhere. But sure, what would you do? I don't know, do I? We'd want some sort of a plan of what you'd do, otherwise you'd fall on hard times and... You are a tonic for my soul, Tomas. I'm just explaining. There was a time you hardly spoke to me, and now when you do, it's a big disappointment. That's not very nice. Well, it's not very nice telling me I can't run away. I didn't say that. I said you'd need a plan and money and that. I'll get money and I'll get a plan. Great. If you went, though... What? Well... I'd probably miss you. Would you? Probably. The girls were right, so. What girls? 
all the girls, Sissy and them. They kept saying, Tomas Barry is mad for you, so he is. Only I didn't believe them. Uh, I'm not mad for you. Right. Coming. It's O'Reilly and Milani. Glass of milk there, Miss O'Neill. It's not the Shelburne you're in, O'Reilly. I was told to stay with you at all times by my command. And I was told to be a glass of milk waiting for me when we finally got to where we're going. Tomas, get us a glass of milk, would you? There's a good lad. Yes, sir. Right, let's get cracking on the mailbag. Orders from GHQ are that any money found is to be confiscated, recorded and spent on arms or sent to the dependence fund. Any interest in correspondence is to be sent directly to Mick Collins himself. And that doesn't mean correspondence about the latest fashion, Miss O'Neill. And it doesn't mean pictures of women in their underclothes either. (laughs) Here's the milk, boys. Thanks, Tomas. Here's the plan. We read all the letters we can and then... The lads in Carlo Brigade say they spend their time crossing out random sentences and writing on the top, passed by the IRA, before enveloping it again. That's a good one, so it is. We'll do that. Pencils, Miss O'Neill. I have some at the ready. I heard you were in Selbridge the other night, Tomas. Aye, there was about six of us. Jesus, one of the lads took apart a plate glass window that was advertising the cigarettes from Belfast. Smashed it to smithereens all over the road. Good enough for them. How many shops did you raid? Four. Was there not five on the list? Aye, there was. What happened? We... I... Saw a little point in terrorising a woman who was 90 if she was a day. That's not your call, Barry. Getting above yourself, Barry. She was deaf as a post. She wouldn't have known what we were about. I handed her a note explaining that it wouldn't be in her interest to have Belfast goods in her shop. Excuse me, isn't that very civilised now? Maybe we should just hand the British Empire note explaining that it's not in their interest to have any British soldiers in our country. Shut up. If it says five shops, you raid five shops. He's gone soft since he killed that RIC chap. Fuck off. Boys, stop. And don't you be using such language in front of a lady. I hear worse from my brothers when they've been drinking. If you want to tell O'Reilly to fuck off in my house, then you can't, Moss. Thanks. Fuck off. I won't have it, do you hear? If you two can't get on, then you can go right now. Sorry, Sorry, sir. Good. Remember what rank you are, for God's sake. Now you, Tomas. If it says five shops, then you raid five shops. I don't care if the old woman kneels over and dies. She's a traitor to the Republic. And what do we do with traitors? Warn them off. Then if they don't listen, execute them. Exactly. Next month... You go back to that old woman and you make sure she has obeyed the orders, right? Yes, sir. And you, O'Reilly, can you stop baiting Tomas and trying to rise rouse? I wasn't trying to... Don't take me for a fool. I know exactly what you were about. Now let's get to business. Here's a card someone posted from Dublin. Having a great time in the city despite the shootings. Had dinner in Janet's Oyster Bar. See you soon. That's doing no harm. Even with the picture of the RIC depot in Dublin on it? Tear it up. <laughs> Here's a ten shilling note someone's being sent for their birthday. Write that down in the book, Miss O'Neill. What do you think of Lloyd George's offer for talks to Dev? Would you trust him? Not as far as I could spit him. I think it's worth having a look at it. There's no obligation to accept anything. He's only making it because the Yanks have him under pressure. He's embarrassed because England is looking fierce bad in the eyes of the world. He's still making it though. We need to capitalise on it. For Dev to talk to him, he needs to guarantee to treat us, North and South, as one unit. Aye, and to acknowledge that we have the right to decide how we want to be governed in our own country. Our own country. Doesn't that sound grand? Aye. Any progress on recruiting that woman you were telling us about, Tomas? Teresa? Not yet. She's hard to pin down. Herself and the women are in a play that Con O'Sullivan is doing with the Gaelic League or something. And sure, it's all they can really talk about. Teresa in a play? <laughs> Jesus, that'd be worth seeing. Next time you get a chance, have a chat with her. If she's as clever as you said, we could do with her. I will. Any news in the informer? Informer? Good one, O'Reilly. Nicely done. There's an informer. We think there's an informer. We're not sure. Well, what will you do if there is one? 
What we do with all informers, Miss O'Neill. Arrest them, let them say their act of contrition, and then shoot them in the head. She doesn't need to hear that. I'll decide what I want to hear. Have you shot many in the head? Depends. Sometimes we give them a warning to leave. This fella, though. He's scuppered quite a few plans. He'll be pretty scuppered himself when we catch up with him. Have you any suspects? Some. Anyone I know? We couldn't be telling you that now. Oh, nice to feel part of the team, so it is. They won't even tell me, so I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, here's a good one. Some idiot has just written to a bridey Doyle in a thigh, thanking her for taking him into her safe house. Jesus. Who the hell did that? I'd march him out of the volunteer, so I would. There's some stupid idiots on all sides. Destroy that letter to Moss. Done. Oh, what have we here? Whoa. <laughs> Money for the mission to China. Five pounds. What'll we do with it? I'd say take it. What about the mission in Ireland? That's terrible, so it is. And all them priests converting them little Chinese people. And all them rosaries being said for the holy souls. You couldn't take that, so you couldn't. I think the church has enough money. And anyway, I hear Cardinal Logue has made a bit of a speech against us. I heard that it's to be read at Mass. So I say, take it. O'Reilly? I don't mind stealing. But it's like we're taking it from the Holy Father himself. That can't be right now. The Holy Father would give it to us if we asked him. Sure, isn't he always preaching about sharing and that? Your mother would skin you alive, Tomas Barry, if she could hear you. It's pure thievery. Right, I'll tell you what. Is there change of five pounds in the coffers, Milani? Maybe. Is that enough? It'll do. Let's put that in for the missions. And keep the rest for ourselves. That way, we're all happy. You should be with Dev if he goes to them peace talks. I hope he does. Wouldn't it be great all the same? No more fighting. Sean would be home. My mother would be happy. We'd all go back to normal. This is my normal. I love this. Don't you? No. No, I don't. Milani, what about you? I want to win. And when we do, it'll stop. And I'll probably miss it. Me too. It beats cleaning up after me brothers. You're outnumbered, Barry. Any more letters there? Are you a real soldier at all, I wonder? I think we're about done here. Let's put everything back. Good work, boys. There will be more over the coming weeks. Lizzie, will yourself and Ellen Kenny sort out putting them back in the post? No bother at all. Good girl. Just a minute, can't you? Stall them while I hide this. Is O'Reilly in there? Or Milani? It's all right. I know that voice. Hayes, what is it? Sir, they've taken over the custom house. News from Dublin just now. What? I don't believe it. One of the lads, he was delivering a message, cycled up to Dublin today, and sure, he couldn't get down the keys. The volunteers are after being sent to the custom house. The place is blazing. The oxys are firing on them. For God's sake, whose idea was that? An attack like that, it'll show the numbers in volunteers. It's suicide. It might force Lloyd George's hand. He can't afford America or any other country to see that. But the boys... Are prepared to die for Ireland. Anything else, Hayes? Not yet. I might go up myself. Have a look. I'll go with you. Tomas? I can't. I have to get back to the pub. I promised my mother and there'll be questions asked otherwise. All right. Stay, help Miss O'Neill clear up. Come on, O'Reilly. Hayes. I just wanted to say that. (laughs) You go. No, you go. Right, so. (laughs) Thanks for giving me the permission to say (laughs) fuck off to O'Reilly. No bother. If you hadn't, I would have. He's an awful idiot. Aye, he is. Here, let me help you with that bag. I better... Go. I. Sure, I might see you and Sissy with Mary one of the days. Me? Maybe. Sissy doesn't be well these days. What's wrong with her? I'm not rightly sure. Poor Sissy. So, it'll just be me calling in? Then too. Any time, like. I will so. Bye, so. Be seeing you, Tomas.
Fractured is a Down at Heel production. All episodes were written by Joe Bergen, Brendan Farrell, Claire Joyce and Martina Riley. Sound engineer is Brendan Farrell. Fractured is supported by Kildare County Council through a bursary from Creative Ireland. It is also supported by the County Kildare Decade of Commemorations Programme and the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Gaeltacht, Sport and Media under the Decade of Centenaries 2012-2023.